Hi Aquarius, this is Kelly from Mumpai Tarot. This is your general love reading for April 2018. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. If not, you can check your other signs. If you go to my website, moonpytarot.com, I do have a birth chart calculator link on my site. So just go ahead and go there if you're not sure. And you can uh, input your information to find out where your Venus is and your moon and your rising. Uh, you, I think you just have to have your birth date and time for your rising to show up. So um, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can also get that from my website there. All the information is in the description box below, okay? So I just want to sh shuffle a little bit more your clarifying cards here. And um, this is a love reading. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be with family members, friends, any types of relationships that are significant in your life or something pressing that you have questions about. Okay, so I think I'm good here. So the bottom of the deck here, you have the tower card. So there's going to be a sudden shift or change happening in April for you either in a relationship or, you know, just in love or in a, any kind of, any kind of relationship or family situation that you could be dealing with. This is something that I feel is just going to come out of the blue. Um, it's not one of those things that you can see coming, like, for instance, the death card where that's just a build up to transition and change. The tower card this could be negative, but it could also be positive. And of course, we can go through the rest of the reading to try to see. Um, sometimes it can be unwanted change. Um, as I was saying, but other times it could just, it, it's, it's something that really shakes up your foundation in your life, whatever it could be. Because when you look at this card here, you can see the lightning and the and the um, the water crashing, whatever whatever situation in your life that was not on solid ground, I feel like is about to sink this time. And underneath that, you have the the Eight of Cups. So this is a card about um, maybe loss or um, walking away from something. Okay, so that energy could be there. Your past, you have the lover's card. And I just did Capricorn, and they had this card in the same spot. So this is a beautiful card. A sense of partnership, deep love, balance of two people together. This is a balance card. can also be the card of Gemini, but it's also a card that talks about two people who came together and maybe by happenstance or whatever it could be, and then made a connection and found that they made a connection and found that they wanted to keep connecting. Okay. Here you've got the queen of swords. So for some of you, it could have been with another air sign like yourself, or this is there was some type of connection through communication with someone, okay? Um, you may have met someone online or through some type of communicating, okay, where there was just this blending with the two of you. Now, and it could also be a Gemini for some of you, or this could just be your energy where you possessed this energy in the past where maybe you communicated to someone that you wanted to be with them and they, they agreed or that you made a decision that you wanted to be with someone and you both decided to do that. Even if that other person didn't, there was an understanding that that was communicated in the past, uh, that the connection is being made. Okay. So the strength card is here in April. This can also be the card of Leo, but there is this sense of feeling confident, able to tame some kind of a, a beast, 
in a sense, a sense of self-love, good health, being able to take control of a, of a situation. The nine of cups is crossing it. And so it's a challenge still in some way for you to make a wish come true or to have material abundance. It is a challenge for you to have this good health, but you're confident and you're strong and you're capable. And I feel like every day you wake up, you remind yourself of that. And you remind yourself that regardless of what happens in your life, you are able to tame the, the beasts within you or to tame people around you so that you can keep going after this wish come true, this, this dream of yours or whatever it may be, or to maintain some type, type of relationship that's something that brings you extreme happiness. Okay. And it's a benefit. It's also in the benefit position for you to continue to do that because it makes you happy. Here you are as the king of swords again, or the other person, but your drive is to take on this energy. This is what drives you. You have powerful intention in April. You are quick acting. You're thoughtful as far as when it comes to leadership and being involved in your relationships. You're very logical, self-sufficient, and you're a truth teller. And I feel like it. you are staying in your element in April. You have just this, or you will be having this sense of confidence about yourself. Either that's coming from another person who is just very supportive of you or, you know, has confidence in you or gives you that which with you feel makes you stronger. And here it's showing up again, the king of pentacles. So this could be an earth sign also, or you've got two people in your life that you may be needing to make a decision about an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn could be a Leo, could be another earth, um, air sign like yourself because it sits next to the two of swords here. And this is difficulty making a decision. So you may have, some of you may have the choice between two people and deciding what to do or who to choose. You could be stuck in kind of a love. I don't feel like you're stuck in a love triangle. I just feel like you, there's, there's two people who are significant for some reason. Why are they significant? Oh, because the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, some type of love offer proposal of some sort is driving you. You you want to either accept a love offer proposal from one of two people or someone does make a proposal or love offer to you. And it could be coming from an earth sign if the king of swords is representative of your energy because in the general reading the king could be male or female okay so someone may have made an offer to you to some of you or this is you thinking of making an offer to someone else now what's crowning you is the page of swords here so i feel like your thoughts are you know <laughs> page of swords energy, you might be spying on someone or someone is spying on you. There could be, this is a card of truth telling. So you could be thinking about uh, messaging someone and telling them the truth about something. And, and it's not that I see you doing that. Someone else could be doing or thinking about that. This is more what's crowning you, what's on your, you know, in, in your crown chakra, what's, what's your, th what you're thinking about. And you could be, you or another person is thinking about sharing something that maybe they've been paying attention to, or they've been observing, or you've been paying attention to and observing about the other person. 
could have something to do with wanting to take a relationship to the next level with the Hierophant. Um, I'm sorry, I think this is blurry. Let me just fix it. I don't know why it's blurry. Um, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my glasses. I'm so sorry about that. I guess it'll just fix itself on its own. Um, so the Hierophant is here justifying mainly because, you know, you, you may be wanting to fit into someone's life or someone's wanting to fit into your life in a more committed way. Or maybe you're watching someone to see if they can or if they're right for you or vice versa. If you're in a relationship with someone, whatever it may be, it could be a friendship or what have you. The Hierophant talks about traditions or um, some type of like maybe a ceremony, could be marriage, uh, it could be religious views, morals, if you're on the same page. Okay, so there may be communication, but truthful communication with someone about this that, that you may have been thinking about or they have been thinking about as of late. You know, I was just looking at this card here, the Eight of Cups. This change could be about you walking away from uh, the cycle that you've been in with a particular person, not necessarily leaving or leaving or breaking the connection, but it could just be about the way things have been in your life or in your love life. You're ready for change now at this point. Your near future though, you have the eight of swords. So something's stopping you from manifesting, you've got some, you've got this energy, you are, it's either you, something stopping you or something stopping the other person. There's a sense of feeling trapped or restricted or feeling isolated. And the magician is like, it's almost like he shows up here to try to turn visions in real into reality, but there's difficulty doing that because you've got these blindfolds on. So it's almost like you see, you do see intuitively. You're not, it could just be too that you are not choosing to physically see, but you're choosing to not pay attention to your thoughts, but to pay attention to how you feel now so that you can try to manifest a new beginning. And I feel like you're going to get some clarity about that, about what you need to do, pulling out all of your tricks out of the bag to try to manipulate the energy to go in the direction that you wish for it to go. There we go. My apologies. But again, there's indecision about something. It's a stalemate. And I think that right now for April, you need to get, uh, get clarity about this situation, especially if there's two offers coming in or you've got two people you're interested in or if you have already received an offer from someone or a proposal of some sort or a love message you need to find a way to be clear with yourself about what you want and follow your gut instinct. Because I see you being, you know, guarding your heart here. You're not giving anything away just yet. Nothing serious. You are probably focusing on work, focusing on money, or keeping your financial situation up to par but that's a protective mode that you're in because maybe you can't make a decision just yet about something or someone. So you could just be instead taking on this four of pentacles energy 
you know, where you're, I mean, you're desiring long-term security, but there's a fear of change from something. Now, the other person, I do feel you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and they're significant to you in April. Even if it's not them, this is someone who they represent, you know, someone who's like a, like a solid practical type of an energy, solid practical type of person. They're, they're very much focused on material success. They're resourceful. Um, this is someone who likes to have a family. They're quite domestic. They're not overly emotional. You know, they're earth signs, if anything, are more sensual than they are emotional. So trying to draw how they feel is just ugh, pulling teeth. But they're more of the type to show how they feel based on their based on their deeds. Okay. They're very helpful type people. So they could, this person, I want to clarify what the energy is with this person, why they're showing up here. Well, this person wants marriage or commitment or um, happy family, which is the Ten of Cups energy, of course. Um, perhaps children. This can also be a reunion. This person may want to reunite, reunite with you if this is someone from your past. But this person is very loving and supportive. Some of you may know this person and leave comments and say, well, I was involved with an earth sign and they were not loving and supportive, but maybe they weren't in the past. But if this is a reunion, there is going to be that energy coming out from them again. And if it doesn't happen in April, it could be in May or it may have already happened, but you might actually run into this person in a family reunion they might be there or some type of uh, family celebration, a wedding or a birth or a children's party or birthday party, anything like that. You might run into them again, or this could be someone new coming in, as I was saying, making a proposal to you, or, you know, this could be a marriage, it could be a proposal for marriage if it hasn't already happened. So here you are with the Ace of Cups in the position of your hopes and fears. So, you know, you hoping for perhaps a family or a proposal, marriage, birth, that kind of thing. Um, but fearing it at the same time, because it's a huge commitment. And, you know, you want that new beginning and those changes, those emotional key development type changes. The Ace of Cups, though, is, is just the start. That's a potential card. That doesn't mean that that's, you know, now you've got it. This is just the beginning. You want it, but you're a little fearful of it for some reason. And I'm going to pull a card to see perhaps what that fear could be. Perhaps there's a fear of not being able to make the right decision, especially if you've got two options. Now you've got the King of Cups. So there's some key players here. This King of Cups, this would be an, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this could be, you know, so it could be a couple of things. It could be your energy where you're fearful that you won't be able to show your emotion or be loving and warm because of maybe past situations, or you had a past relationship with a, a water sign who um, you wanted something with, but maybe it didn't work out. And maybe, or maybe you're still involved with them and you need to let that person go, male or female. Okay. Um, and so hoping maybe that you could, or fearing, or you've got these offers coming in from others, but this is the one you wish to be with, the water sign. 
But again, this is in your hopes and fears. So I don't see that person playing out as returning. I just feel that they are in the position of your dreams and fears. Okay. So it's significant though, because it's something for you to take a look at. Now your outcome card is the chariot and the five of wands. So the chariot is a direct type forceful decision or movement. Okay. It's action. It's change. It could be travel for you. I think my Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. I have to stop holding things up. So it th there's there could be travel. You could be making plans to travel to go see someone again towards the end of the month. Um, and it's the Five of Wands is here as well. So there might be some obstacles to that or some challenges to that. Uh, the five of wands can just be a little bit of competition, but I think you'll, you'll find a way to balance this out. You'll find a way to overcome these challenges. You'll find a peaceful solution. I feel like you may need to actually go see someone before you make a decision because I don't feel like, I feel like you're, you're feeling something, but you fear making a decision about someone just yet, even though you may be feeling like you wish to be with them, or this is the other person who's got this energy going on for you. Um, you may need to, you or they may need to actually see each other in person if you don't see each other in person, or, or if you do to maybe take a trip together somewhere to find some peace about the situation because you're, you know, they always say when you're in doubt, don't decide when you're in doubt, don't make a decision. And I feel like you're trying to trust your gut about someone or about this situation. And I feel like the tower card was representing perhaps this energy of walking away from maybe this water sign. Some of you may still be involved with the water sign, or if you're not physically involved with the water sign, or someone who, um, if it's not the water sign, the King of Cups has this energy of someone who's like a great father, husband, um, they're tolerant, they're empathetic, um, someone who's nurturing, helpful, healing, supportive, so if it's not a water sign, it could be someone who has that energy. But I feel like even if you're not physically with them at the moment, their energy is still residual within your heart. And that could be affecting you in some way. Even if you don't want to be back with them, it could still be affecting your future relationships because of your experience with them was quite significant. Um, and I feel like for you, you need to make movement to find your peace about either this person from your past who's still living within your heart or, um, or physically take a trip with someone or go visit someone. Okay. Because I feel like that's going to bring you balance. I feel like it's going to bring you a sense of self-control because I feel like you are uh, not, I feel like you don't want to make a reactive decision about a relationship. I think you want to be in control of this decision that you make so that you know for sure if um, you are ready to move forward. But I'm seeing movement, so I'm seeing you directly focusing your energy in the direction you wish to go, which is good. And you're going to come across some challenges, you will, to find your peace and your harmony about the situation. Um, or this could just even be challenges to, you know, buying a ticket or um, you and the other person going somewhere. 
So I'm going to pull a card from the Romance Angels deck to see what they have to say about your situation here for April. Oh, I want this one. Playfulness. I love this card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So however that relates to you, um, try not to be too, too serious in April, so much so um, that you get discouraged about a particular situation, especially if something suddenly changes. There's just a complete, um, you know, whatever, there's going to be a breaking down of things that in your relationships that are no longer serving you. Okay. And while that's happening, try as best as you can to remain happy and playful, um, to, you know, not go through at least the month of April with such a serious demeanor, try to go out and enjoy yourself and, and be positive. That's really just the message coming for you. So I'm going to leave your reading here. And uh, again, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can visit my website below in the description box, boompytarot.com. And I will see you guys in May. All right, take care. Bye.